See, it's that simple. The, the, the entire world is watching now. Uh, what's up, guys? Thanks for joining in today. Uh, we are at a an undisclosed private location, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, this is George Schultz, and uh, we are in the in the catacombs of George's home uh, with a what amounts to be one of the craziest collections of 18 scale cars I think I've ever seen. Uh, it's a, it's definitely a a problem. He's got he's got an addiction. Uh, which is good though, the good kind. <laughs> so, uh, George, uh, tell me, how did this get started with you and uh, your love of diecast? Well, I started about 25 years ago with a 124 scale, and uh, they were like $110 a piece. Oh, the Franklin Mint type stuff. Right, Franklin Mint. Yeah. And uh, my inspector, Sidney Carson, came to me one day and so we a 118 scale, it's $20. I said, what? It looks, it's as good, mm -hmm. it's much bigger. I mean, yeah. shaft it. Yeah, but uh, then you had to build a whole extra wing to your house, didn't you? Yes, because I, I had a triple garage. So one garage was all my car collection. Mm -hmm. When I got a new Tesla, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe it's uh, another car. At any rate, I had to build a room addition. Yeah. And now my car question doubled from yeah. 10 years ago. So you're probably going to have to either buy another house to add to this house or break into your backyard and create another room. Well, I have all the 118 scale that's out there basically. Mm -hmm. So they're adding only just a few. Right. I have one room for one more four foot section, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so you started with 124th die cast, uh, but the, the extreme versions, not like Hot Wheels and, and some of that stuff, but the higher end models. Any yeah. 118 scale. Okay, any 118, didn't matter. Right. Yeah. So, uh, will you literally buy any 118 or you are, are you looking for anything specific? No, everything. Okay, so you go to a store. Where, where do you usually shop for these? I go to a die cast wholesale on the internet. Okay. And, uh, and how many, what's, what's your largest purchase that you've ever done with the 18 scale at one time? At one time I bought uh, 50 cars at one time from the exotic car galleria in Beverly Hills when they were in I existence. Remember. Yeah, I remember that. And I said, hey, I want every one of that's out there, so yeah. I bought the whole supply. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, not too extreme, as you can, it looks like an unassuming kind of guy, but uh, wait till you see some of this collection. So I'm going to flip this around. And then you can start to tour us through. Uh, should we start with A over here? Sure. Okay, I'm gonna flip this around, guys, so you guys can kind of see some of the stuff. That's some of the uh, 24 scale. But uh, where do you want to start? Well, with the A's, I guess. Okay. This is uh, one of George's cars he's got in his garage right yeah. now. 1992 NSX, mm -hmm. which is my first car up here. Okay. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, it just goes on. Look at this. The case goes on this side and this side. And there's like, it's, there's three aisles. There's three freaking aisles you have of cars. So uh, give me some highlights. What What is it in this section that's uh, that you like? We can talk about. Well, I've also got four engines. I a large, I think, one eighth scale. Right. And... Uh, Oh, you got the uh, the Batmobile. Yeah, from the... one one Batmobile here, right? And, uh, then the rest of the ones are up here. Yeah, here's, here's, here's one that you designed. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't do that. That's from the TV show. I did this one. Oh, oh, yeah. Can we oh. open that? Can we slide that open. Sure, sure. Yeah. So that's the one that I did for uh, the '89 film. That's cool. That's the cover for it. Look at that. Yeah, I mean, got Batmobile talking. <laughs> <laughs> Only Catwoman is clever enough for this heist. <laughs> That's great. So there's been a lot of Batmobiles over the years. You got the Tumbler and that kind of stuff. Never oh yeah, that. look at this. This is from. That's from Batman Begins. This is the uh, Arkham Knight uh, Batmobile, and then this is uh, Batman versus Superman. Great models. Here's uh, George's original one. Wow, some good stuff. Really good stuff. Um, what about um, the, the fact that, that many of them come in multiple colors? Would you just buy every different color? Well, at one time, no, but at one time I was 
even buying a hard top and a convertible. Yeah. I said, no more of that. Also, yeah. no more trucks. Okay. Or SUVs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> SUV diecast. Not that exciting. <laughs> right. <laughs> Unless it's a Lamborghini SUV or maybe something like that. Uh, oh, some BMW. I sent us. Look at those. Yeah. Yeah. Great stuff. And this little cutie. <laughs> oh, look at that. What is that? Thing? I don't know. I got it on my list. Yeah. Is that? I guess that is 18 scale. Look at that. Yeah. So there's some Bugattis. There's the Veyrons and the, um, you know, I don't know all the names of those guys, but. The 59 Buick. I, I had a hard top. Yeah. That was a great car. I love the fins and that. Yeah. All of these, you know, you had, you said that you like concepts, some of the Motorama cars also. Yes. Yeah. Nice, nice Buick, yeah. Grand Nationals, yeah, wow. Amazing stuff. Oh, look at that. Look at the wings. Why don't they put wings on cars like that? Anyway? Or like 59 Caddy, that was a beautiful car. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Now, I just drove the, um, the 22 Cadillac ATS uh, AT4, no, what was it? I can't remember all the letters. The C, the CT4 yeah, V, the black wing. And they said it's the best production Cadillac ever built, but I disagree because <laughs> the 59 was badass. We had one of those in the museum. Great stuff. Wow. Oh, and we got uh, celebrities in here. Yeah, oh, so you got, uh, what's the name? Capone. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Now, some of these, what are some of these trophies? Is this, uh, is this you? Back, back in the day? Yeah, I used to be a Minnesota state champion in Olympic weightlifting. Really? At 165 pounds and moved to California from Minnesota, went to 181 and 198 even. Wow. And I clean and jerked 390 pounds at 198 and the record in California was 395. You lift double your own weight? Yeah. Wow. Beast. That's the old days. Yeah. Yeah, that's the old days. Look at this. There's lots of them. Yeah. Wow. Good stuff. All right. What's on this side? Camaros. Yeah. What about the, you know, some of these uh, Jada cars and I don't know if uh, muscle machines and things like that. Anything, anything outside of the ordinary as far as regular cars? You know, like... Uh, you know how Muscle Machines makes the extreme versions? I guess those aren't 118th though. Yeah, some are. Some are. I mean, it looks like that's not one of them, but. Uh, yeah. Basically, they're the same car, except, you know, they got bigger wheels, so it's. Right. Really, you don't collect that as a, as a whole. That looks like from Tulane Blacktop. Is it? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, great stuff. Wow. You're the man, man. When it comes to 18th scale, look at all these. Gorgeous two-door, massive uh, land yachts. Yeah, you know, great I'll, stuff. I'll, I'll I also mean, build all these shelves and cabinets myself. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, then you get everything exactly the way you want, right? Yeah, that's beautiful. Isn't is that a Lincoln? I don't remember. No. What is that? It's got to be a Chrysler. Uh, I think it's a Delahaye, maybe. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful. Oh, look at the size of that beast. Wow, they don't make cars like that. Oh, there's the um, the turbine car, the Chrysler yeah. turbine. Yeah, I thought that was a nice car. Yeah, it was. It was beautiful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, and this one is from uh, Fast and Furious 3. You guys remember that? The one that, uh, Tokyo Drift. That was, that was one of the better ones, I thought. Just kind of neat to see the culture. And then, oh, the Chrysler Atlantic. I think that's the Atlantic. Well, you sure know your cars. I do. I do, yes. Oh, well, tell me what this thing is then. <laughs> what that is? What the hell is that? <laughs> that's, a, that's a Citron uh, uh, on steroids. What the hell? Actually, uh, Michelle tires. Some shell tires. Michelin? Michelin? Michelin tires, right. Yeah. They had two of these built. And uh, if you look, Underneath, they were testing tires. So underneath here is the tire. Oh, and that's what they would test. <laughs> <laughs> that's the biggest 18 scale I've ever seen. Yeah, that was you have to you have to get an 18 scale train to match that. That was a unique one. Yeah. Wow, this is pretty cool too. This this uh, German thing. 
It's like a Helms truck, but not quite the same. And you got the Cobra. Yep, there's the Cobras. This is a, uh, is that a, that's a Peugeot, right? I think that's a Peugeot. Uh, concept? Citroen. Citroen, yeah. yeah okay. Citroen, probably a concept car. Yeah, right. Yeah. And then here's some uh, original Corvettes. There's the Manta Ray. Yeah. That's from Fast and Furious. You guys yeah, saw Vin yeah. Diesel. Like, this is, you know, real nice quality. And, and this one is just beautiful. Let me look at that engine. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. God, that's amazing. Great stuff. And it's heavy, too. Yeah, yeah, really cool. Oh, look, it's uh, Timmy McDougall's car. One of these. 78, I think, is his. Yeah, tons of Corvettes. Great stuff. George, you're a fanatic, buddy. In a good way. So then uh, a whole slew of Corvettes. We're in the seas right now. We're going to make our way all the way through. My wife's a big Corvette lady. She had a 58 and then a 63 that drove off the trailer all by itself. And then a an 84 that uh, every photo we have of the 84 has the hood up. <laughs> <laughs> There's some uh, time machines. Yeah, you guys have seen those. Oh yeah. Yeah, my friend Andy Probert designed this one, the flying one. The DeLorean engine. Is what I put in in the sand rail. Oh yeah, he had a V6 uh, Volvo, Fujo, and, De and uh, DeLorean. They all got together and they made that engine. Yeah. So this car did a sand drags at 3.20 seconds, 104 miles an hour. It was super quick. Wow. So you're you're a big racer because uh, well, you you uh, you race your Tesla. Right. Yeah. And tell me tell me about some of your experiences racing that. Well, I started a 53 Ford, and then I put a Chevy V A283 in there. So I raced that for a while, and way back when. And uh, yeah, I tried right, racing the Acura. That was a waste of time. <laughs> it spun as tires or uh, a little bog. Mm -hmm. But the Tesla I started the nine, five years ago with the P85D. And then the, the Raven two years ago, and now I got the Plaid. And the Plaid is the world's quickest car that you can buy. Wow. It does a quarter mile at 9.28 seconds, 152 miles an hour. Eighth mile at 5.98 at 121. So I'm going to race next Sunday at um, Formosa in yeah. Bakersfield. Did, did anyone explain to you how old you are? I I'm mean... Not. Well, I'm only 81. I'll be 82 yeah. in May. <laughs> he's, he's the fastest 81 year old that I know. That's pretty awesome. And then this, you have a new sand rail that you bought, right? Or that you're, it's kind of. I'm more, side by side. Side by side. Yeah. Polaris. A Polaris, uh, four cylinder, 225 horsepower. Wow. Hopefully I'll get it in May. Yeah. Yeah. Beast. What does your wife think about all this stuff? She doesn't like to go fast, yeah. but. I can do my thing. Yeah, and you can't go that fast in the in the 18th scale cars, which is good. <laughs> She's probably okay with that. All right. <laughs> All right, let's go down the second well, second row. This was an unusual thing too. A triple zero, pure luck at the sand, at the drag strip. Ah, uh -huh. zero light. Uh, a week ago, I did a red light at one thousandth of a second red light. Wow. <laughs> Jeez, crazy, crazy. All right. All right. So we're going to go down here now. Here's uh, another car from Fast and Furious. You guys recognize that one. Uh, this concept, this is one of the, uh, I forget the name of this, but this was a Chrysler concept that was a pre precursor to the Vipers, which of course are here. There's a, there's a Willys. We were just at um, Lions Drag Strip and they have 50 Willys there now. Wow. At the Lions Drag Strip. Some, several dragsters. This is my favorite, Tommy Ebo's four cylinder, I mean, four engine Buick. Look at that. Wow. That's one of my favorites. Amazing. What's going on, Joseph? Sorry, I just saw that you poked in there. Um, there's another, you have the, the, uh, the same one, the Citron here. It's the same car as the one over there. Oh, you didn't know that, did you? I gotta come, <laughs> I, I gotta check that out. Yeah. Okay, so there's this one, right? And then there's the other one over here. It's this one. Wait, where'd it go? Yeah. Oh, it's the same color. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> you got two of them. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, I keep a list 
Mm -hmm. Oh no. Yeah, oh, you got no. two of those. Oh no. Yeah, you got a shark fly. Shut up! Oh, look at that. <laughs> Identical. Oh. Yeah. Well, now you got, a, you got a new one to get. Oh. <laughs> I, I felt it cheap. Okay, all right. <clears throat> uh, this one here's got ends in the front and ends in the back, too. Oh God, wow. That's awesome. And then uh, there's a Faso Vega, which yep. is great, beautiful. Yeah. We got some Ferraris, which... Uh, Lots of Ferraris. Yeah, you know what we call Ferraris in Malibu? No. Malibu taxis. <laughs> That many, yeah. There's uh, lots of them. Yeah, that and the uh, Lamborghinis. Although not, you know, not ones that look like that. You know, a lot of Ferraris here. We went to the Ferrari show at um, Peterson. That was pretty cool. That's a beautiful one. Yeah, look at that. And then, uh, if you guys, uh, any of you can uh, identify what this is. This is from the Motorama original Motorama cars. That's the Firebird one. Do you have the other ones? No. To two and three. I don't know if they made those. In they don't make them. Yeah. If they did, I'd have it. Okay, put that on your list. See if you can search for those. Um, here's a... Uh, <laughs> here's a coffin. Dude, really? Yeah. That's hysterical. Um, this looks familiar. That, that, uh, that car like that, that belonged to Tim McDougal and now belongs to uh, another gentleman that comes to Canal Valley Cars and Coffee. Looks like that a little bit. Hot rods? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah? What else we got? God, look at these. It's just amazing. Oh, gorgeous. Look at all these. There we go. That's great. And it just goes in a circle, let's see. Ready? Right. Okay. Here's some of your old school Ford SUVs. Lou, if you're watching, there's your car, buddy. Lou owns one of the, uh, probably the, the best example of the Starsky car. Ah, oh, that's beautiful too, look at that, wow. Great stuff, okay, what else we got? These are um, Fords, European Fords maybe? Yep, Ford GTs, yep. This one was designed uh, by my friend Camilo Pardo, one mm -hmm. of the original Ford Beautiful GTs. Beautiful car, Beautiful car. Yep, and uh, Mustangs, cool. There's a John Player Special, that's one of my favorites. Yeah, you paint any car in black and gold and it's instantly cool. Remember the four tired? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Wow. And then uh, this one here is my Kellison Astra J5 that took me four years to build in 1970. At a 454, did a quarter mile, 1075, 132. Wow. And I won uh, in Long Beach the best car show. First, first place race dream machine. Anyways, yeah. I used to show this car, so all the big trophies you'll see later on are yeah. mostly from this car. Yeah. Is this thing for the train? Is that what that was? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's like a huge box. Transformer. Okay. Yeah. So now we got some uh, some race cars. If you guys are into indie cars and right stuff, it's not really my thing so much. Open wheel, but yeah, yeah uh, these are formula. Over formula. Here. Okay. Yeah, and then of course gold rod, you know. Yeah. There we go. That's uh, uh, Stig <laughs> Stiglet. If you're watching right now, that's you, buddy. That's you right in the car right there. Uh, there's uh, oh, here's the uh, the Black Beauty from Green Hornet. Here's my that show. Isn't that from uh, Greece? Greece, yeah. Yeah, great stuff. Yeah, my my collection is primarily film cars and '64 scale. So I could take all of my cars and put them all in probably one of your two of your cases. Maybe that's about it. Some Hummers. There's a uh, the Hummer concept. You guys remember that? That was pretty cool. I was hoping they'd come out with that production version. Uh, this looks like a, a Jaguar. Um, is it a 2C? I don't know. I don't remember that. Yeah. That's cool. That looks like something out of a THX 1138. Remember that? Oh, there's a Jeep concept. That was pretty cool when that came out. 
And what's this little guy? I don't know. Yeah, that's... I got it on my list. Yeah. Well, you know, you're not going to know all of the cars, but uh, it doesn't matter as long as you collect them. Right? What's, what's, what's your favorite car out of the collection, do you think? Now that you have two of those Peugeots. <laughs> Citrons, Citrons. Well, I still like to have that four-engine Buick Tommy Evo's dragster, you know. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's kind of cool. Yeah. And then, of course, all my Teslas, you see later on. Yeah. Then we have uh, tons of Lamborghinis, more Malibu taxis. Yeah. There's the, uh, I forget the name of the, the four-door Lamborghini. You guys remember that? Oh, that's, that yeah, that's, that's beautiful. Yeah, I think that's a concept again. Yeah. I don't know if, um... Yeah, I didn't realize that they made a, a 18 scale of that. Some of these got to be pretty unique. I got a story on this uh, Lincoln Continental. Way back when, I used to go to a car dealer's before they had them in the showroom, and I saw this being unloaded. I said, wow, that's a huge, beautiful car. It's still one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's still 18 scale, and it's almost big enough to get in. <laughs> and look at these Lincolns. Wow, great stuff. These things have to weigh a lot, too, I would assume. Yeah, that's a real pretty car, too. A 56 Lincoln. Yeah. Yeah, that's really nice. Now I'm getting some uh, workout on my knees. Oh, check out the uh, Lotus Esprit. That's the turbo. Mm-hmm. Ah, you guys remember this from the, the movie The Spy Love Me, James Bond. One of my favorite cars. I still want to take that out for a spin underwater. What's this thing, this big black scary looking thing? Is that Hitler's car or something? <laughs> Looks like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, it's funny, We went. I went down to the... Hey, here's Hitler's car right here, see? Oh yeah, <laughs> Octoon baby. Uh, they have, had one of Hitler's cars down at um, the Lions Air Museum. And it was sitting there and you, you look at it and go, oh my God, it's Hitler's car. And you walk up and like, wow. And then you sit there and think for a second. It's like, wow, this was really his car. Probably some of his cells are still on the, you know, I'm like, oh, God, that just kind of creeps you out after a while. Well, now we've got a foot in so. Yeah, there's a, uh, from Transformers. Yep. I forget the name of that. Look at the 3D dinosaur. I don't, hey, you can tell it's 3D a little bit. Yeah. Wow, okay. Now we're on the final, the final leg of the collection here. All right. What's, what, oh, you want to come back to those? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. We'll finish this. Okay. We got some Mercedes. Lots of Mercedes. Yeah, beautiful. Mm -hmm. This is the. This was probably the one car I had as a kid. That's the Mercedes C one eleven that really made me love cars, because I had never seen a car that had gull wings, gull wing doors, right? And that was probably one of the yeah. first that did it. And I know that Elon was was affected by that car as a kid. Um, and that that it came out in orange. I think Corgi made a. A 24th, no, smaller than that. Whatever the next scale down is from 24th, 36th? Yeah. Yeah. So, 30, 32, yeah. Yeah. Look at that. 600 limousine. Beautiful. Wow. God, I could sit in here all day long. Look, look at the paint job on that beast. That's gorgeous. Yeah, I like, I like those Mercury's. Yeah. Custom, all custom. Yeah. yeah. Gene, if you're watching, these are all for you, buddy. Yeah. There's a... Um, a Messerschmitt. I don't know what that actually means in English, but uh, cute little car, probably. Look at that. But I just saw something. Oh, here's um, George's. Uh, actually, this is not George. The original builder, just to reiterate, George rebuilt this, but this was originally built by Dean Jeffries over in Hollywood. There's always been that, that wonderment about who built what back in the day. Uh, there's Nissan's race car. That that came out for a short period of time. Did really well, I think. Yeah, it's a, it's a different concept with a yeah. narrow front end. Right. There's the GTR. Which is cool. Look at this black and gold John Player Special Vintage. <laughs> wow. Oh, there's the wagon. I was wondering if he had any wagons here. That's cool. And one of my favorite cars, also, Tornado. Yeah. This is just amazing. Oh God, the Opal GT, look at that. 
What's up, guys? In the mirror. It's always, it's always best when you have a collection to have it with mirrors in the back, right? Yes, you can see the back. Yeah. That's an interesting concept. Do you know what that is? Yeah, I haven't seen that before. I always like seeing something new. And then this section, this is the, the kind of the, the puke green color section. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit yellow, I guess. And the packet of the first one was three colors. Three oh, colors. Yeah, look at that. Ask any man who knows one, or has one. There's a couple of big ones. That, this one was always a Funkadelic car to me. That was just weird. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what? You know what's good about this is your wife always knows what she can buy you for your birthday. No, because I have the law. <laughs> so I tell people, don't bother. Yeah. In fact, I even got two sometimes. Yeah, you do. Now, now oh, you know. Here's something of my teacher when I got an order, something like that. Yeah. The Polaris side, side by side. side. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. A couple of. Uh, yeah, there's, God, there's so many great things, the Porsches. Yeah, so how much time do you spend in here just poking around looking at things? Not enough. Yeah. Not enough. Do you have visitors come by and want to check it out? Anybody walks by, I say, hey, you want to see my car collection? <laughs> <laughs> it's super private, but I'll let you in. No, it's not private. You can tell where I'm at. Yeah. Porsches. Very cool. That's interesting. What is that? Uh, I got a concept car. Yeah, I've never seen that one before. Monza, remember that? Yeah. What else we got down here? Rolls Royce. Yeah, wow. So much good stuff, George. Crazy. Yes, even uh, the Mach 5 from Speed Racer, as well as his brother's car, which was. Uh, the yellow car. I don't remember. Rem did you watch Speed Racer when you were younger? No. Yeah. What What did you grow up on? What What was the TV shows that you liked? Lone Ranger. Yeah. <laughs> you watched Leave It to Beaver, right? No. 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 You weren't into that. It was more westerns and adventure things like that. We didn't have that much TV. Yeah. You're You're buying a Polaris, so I'm assuming you were into dirt as a kid. You know, Lone Ranger. <laughs> okay. Well, here's Santa Claus. Yeah, there's Santa. Mm -hmm. And then here's uh, the Tesla's SUV. And your collection is red cars, right? You have the uh, the plaid version now, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple. That was the first one the model was. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there's the 64th scale. I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I'm still waiting for the uh, for the uh, uh, the roadster to come out. Me too. Ah, this you know about this car, this pink one. You know what this pink one is? I did. Yeah, that's yeah Thunderbird. It's yeah, Thunderbirds. It's from the. Uh, it's called the Fab One. That was Lady Penelope's personal car, and she was the head of the Thunderbirds, and wow. she she had a driver driver around everywhere she went. So you, you had wings, huh? Yeah, yeah. That was the new one. That's the new car. So there is an original, which you don't have. There is an original 18th scale of the Fab One, which you should get and put right next to this one. Yeah, still a cool car though, amazing car. And then the last case, here's the, the Blue Flame, if you guys remember that. How many years did it take to collect all these, asks uh, Joe Testaverde. Uh, 25 years, I think, or, or more. Yeah. yeah, it probably would have been faster. You know, if you got the idea sooner. <laughs> so if you, if you, uh, you said you primarily buy most of them online, you don't go. I do now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cause so, there's no stores anymore. Right. Right. And so there's some Volkswagens. Yeah, so you know, some I see these trophies. Yeah. And what are those for? Uh, that's mainly for that, uh, Astro J5 that I built. Okay. It's also my, uh, Sandra L2. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Great. So we're down to the the V's and the Volkswagens. You got Herbie in here? Well, yeah, that's one to get. That's close. <laughs> There's the Polaris. Yeah, something like it. Yeah. Wow. 
Incredible stuff, George. We still got a few other things over here. And uh, and then there's a foos table. <laughs> yeah. Which, uh, has Chip played this yet? Played his own table? Get no. it? Foosball? No. <laughs> there's Jay Little. Oh, there's Jay. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Lots of trophies. Oh, it's right, Lone Ranger, see? Yeah, Lone Ranger. <laughs> Bam. High old silver. And there it is, high old silver. Yeah, this did a 112. Yeah, these are these are huge. The uh, can we can we open that up so we can get a better shot? Sure. Yeah, yeah. To, to give you guys a sense of scale, look at my hand on this car. Look at how big that is. Those are gorgeous. When I go dragging, the uh, announcer likes to say, "Oh, here comes the golf cart." Here's my golf cart. <laughs> right. Because of my electric Tesla. Yeah. And by far the best car in this entire collection is the Shitter. <laughs> That's the best car. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we're wrapping it up. We're going to look at this last case and then we're going to play some foosball, which I'm going to lose. But uh, great stuff. These are the 24th. These are what you started with. All right. All right. Yeah, and that didn't last. Right. Yeah. Unfortunately, I couldn't get any dragsters, you know, on, on a 18th scale. Yeah. So I got those instead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a few motorcycles. And then you got some bikes over here. And yeah, these. Uh, there's some Jada stuff. Some stuff that they've done, I think. Baragos. Yeah. A few trains and. Mm -hmm. And these are all my uh, Thunderbirds. Gosh, wow, incredible. Yeah, so let me let me ask you, you know, in you know, walking around the house and looking at your at these cars and then your collections in the in the garage, you even keep all the boxes and all that stuff. Um, what do you what do you say to someone that that loves cars, you know, wants to start a collection, you know, how, how would they you know, how would they identify what they really would be into? You know, what, you know what, what, what really motivates your desire to collect these? Well, I'm just a collector. But what I find interesting is that anybody comes to look at my collection, they all say, oh, that's my car, or I had this car. Mm -hmm. So that's, I guess, is your individual yeah. interest, you know, so. Would you say that, it's, that, that collecting is really about the ability to share? To share these these things with people and well, I certainly enjoy that part of it. Yeah, you, know, you put all that work and money into it to yeah. let other people uh, enjoy it. Yeah, you got a long way to go. I you got to figure out a way to live to two hundred. You know, and you got a lot more cars to get. Well, my mother lived a hundred, my dad ninety seven. So I still got a few years left, I think. Nice, nice. All right, let me flip this around. Say goodbye to these people. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, uh, as always, uh, this episode is going to go up on YouTube as well and, and everywhere else. And get out there and you know share the stuff that you love. Go to car shows. Um, if you have a collection or something, uh, invite some people over for some, for some coffee and hang out and just kind of share, share some of your passions, okay? We're going to play some foosball, which I'm just going to warn you, I suck at Royale, but uh, I'm sure you're pretty good at it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I'm in trouble. All right, guys, thanks. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.